and welcome to Grandad Reviews. Today I'm going to have a look at a piece of software that you can use with your tablet or smartphone to control basically the programs on your PC. And I'm mainly using it for the Adobe suite of uh, software plus OBS and some uh, programs on Windows. And it's called the Touch Portal. I found this really um, useful for me um, as I have problems uh, with the use of my right arm. And uh, with the tablet set up with Touch Portal on, running on the computer, I can control a lot of the actions that I would normally use the keyboard with my right hand, I can use my left hand. Um, I use the palette gear. Um, interface uh, for Lightroom and in Premiere and such like which again I use with my left arm but uh, let's have a look at Touch Portal and see if it can be any use for you. Right so the first thing you need to do is to go to the Touch Portal website and then you scroll down to the bottom and download the Windows installer. And once you've got that installed, you'd go to the App Store if you're using iOS or Google Play and download the Touch Portal app for your OIS or Google device. You then get a Touch Portal icon. And once you've installed Touch Portal on your desktop, you can start Touch Portal up and you'll get this program here. And once you run Touch Portal on your iOS device, you'll get this app running here. Now what I've done, I've installed a few things to start with. Um, and what you can do from the website, if you go up here, you get some free icons and you can get some free buttons are pre-programmed for certain uh, programs. And in this case, I've downloaded the Premiere Pro on the After Effects Photoshop and I downloaded the free icons as well. And this is where you get your icons from. And how I've got uh, this one set up, what you have to, like these Premier ones are already set. So you click on the button and it says start application. So if you want to create a new button, so create a new button, click on a space. Let's start an application. Find your application. So let's start up Firefox, so pick there. So we're going to start up Firefox. Now, then we need to add an icon so we can change the icon here and we can go from a file or an icon pack. I've downloaded some icons in here, so there's Firefox. So we've got that one there, and we can change the background, and the corners or not, make it full size, go save. And if we just refresh, we get an icon. So if I was close down Firefox. So now if I press that button, Firefox starts up. So I've set up a number of ones. This one here goes to a page. So what I've done is create you create pages. So I created a Windows page. So if I click on the button, then I've got these set up, and as you can see I've got direct to Facebook, email, um, one of my folders I go to a lot, notepad which I use a lot, straight to the web to my YouTube channel. So if I click on that one, it takes me straight to my YouTube channel and takes us back to here. And then I've set up other pages, so say, say Photoshop, Photoshop page, 
So when I click on this button here to Photoshop, if I go to main, that Photoshop button will start the application, wait for 100 milliseconds and then go to my page with all the icons on. So it'll do two things. So if I click on Photoshop, it'll go to my Photoshop icons and it will start Photoshop on the screen at the same time. And so in here, I can open a file, like so, select a brush, I can change it to a pen tool, or path selector, I'm going to write some type, it'll take me into the type tool, like so. If you wanted to select something, so I could do the rectangular select. And I've got other buttons here that are say we're in the uh, free download, which can do different things. Uh, I've got rasterize, rulers, layers, snap, open save, I'm change the canvas size, image size. So if I need to change the image size on it, copy and paste, undo quickly with my left hand. We need to duplicate that layer. I can quickly duplicate the layer. And I'll just go back and I can go back to there. So I can set any of these up to do different things. So I've got After Effects, Photoshop, I've got a page for Lightroom. All of these I had to set up myself. So you can set any button up. So if we go into Lightroom, so we're on, into Lightroom. I can do a lot of the things I normally do on the keyboard or with the mouse. So I can go into that one, go out to the grid. Okay, that one to develop. I'll take it straight into develop. I'll do spot removal. It brings up my spot removal tool. Comes out spot removal. Need the crop tool. If I want to export that to Photoshop, I can just hit the Photoshop one. I can exit Lightroom from here. I'm going to show me clipping. A little bit of clipping there. I can bring up any of the tools. And it just keeps everything over to my left and it just makes things a lot easier. I'll go back to library, like in my Lightroom section there wasn't a pack to download but you can do a key press so just go into your keyboard shortcuts in here so you can get all your keyboard shortcuts so like they go to next and previous and the uh, there so we've got right arrow left arrow so if we go to here and we'll add in here we want a left arrow, so we'll use, we'll use that one, so a left arrow, so that'll be a key press, left arrow, add that, we'll save that one, and we'll do the same on this one, we'll do a right arrow, right arrow, add that one, do like that. What you do? So I'm back in Lightroom. I can go through. My pressing this arrow here. You can set up uh, different actions as well. So if we go over here on the OBS one, go into OBS. This button here has got if statements as well. Uh, it says if this button state is off, set button state to on, start the recording, it will change the visuals as well. Else if the button is off, stop the recording. So if I press that it will stop the recording. On this one I've got it to pause the recording. So I can pause recording at any time. And so that was my quick look at the Touch Portal software for your tablet and computer. I find it very useful at the moment. When I've actually got a bit more use out of it and uh, tried a few more things, I'll do a more in-depth look at setting up the buttons, modifying them and setting actions and such like. But I think if you want to give it a go, uh, it's worth a try. It is free. If you download it, you can get a free version. Uh, you're limited to, I think it's two pages and I think it's six buttons a page, something like that. Uh, but even if you want to buy it, I think it's, it's only £9 to buy and then you get the full use of it. So just give it a go and see what you think. 
you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of any new videos, hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later.